Well, good evening. How do you do? Oh, f <clears throat> I'm sorry, I forgot the music. How do you do, homies? Choo choo, choo choo. Let me fix the music real quick here since I totally forgot about the music. Let's start with Eden. Eden is a cool track. Let's go. Music on? It's a little bit of slow stuff. Mr. Bonani, thank you for subscribing me. That's appreciated. Here we go already. Yeah, boy! Holy crap, what a start! Hey homies, how do you do? I hope my microphone is uh, at the right volume though. I think so. I think it is. Let me tweak it for myself here. <sighs> I'm going to take off these glasses since these are actually made for uh, for, for, uh, for theater. So they're like polarizing stuff. That's weird on a display. <laughs> <laughs> Ludius is in a house. Things will break today. Things will break. <laughs> every day. Yo, squirrel, drop it hard. Smoke, smoke weed every day. Oh, yeah. Smoke weed every day. Damn, son. <sighs> Jesus, and I'm totally hyped today. Let me turn it on. His name is John C. Yeah, that, okay, that will do. So, for today, I'm, I'm totally freaking hyped today. I'm so freaking hyped. I cannot tell you how, how hyped I am. Um, 
But before I go into that, all that kind of things... Thank you, Marty, for uh, subscribing on YouTube. That's appreciated, mister. So, so welcome. Please let me know in the chat, sir. Do you like cats or dogs? That would be, uh, that would be nice to know. Oh, man, I am just a little bit shaking. I'm just really hyped about this stream tonight. And I cannot tell you why. I, I can't tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. A lot of people already know why. I've been giving out so many freaking hints the past days. Um, but first, let me see. Uh, yeah. Let's for, let's, this, this is a one-time only deal, by the way. This is a one-time only deal. And, and hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to turn off the music. Hold on. And I'm even going to take off my headphones so I cannot hear it. But, um, and Lily made this. So look at this beautiful hat. Beautiful, beautiful hat. Because I'm going to sing. This is one time only deal. I'm going to sing happy birthday. Uh -huh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Marlene, girlfriend of Nicholas. Happy birthday to you. <sighs> so, nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. <sighs> Not doing that again. <laughs> but happy birthday, Marlene. That's uh, congratulations. And, and Nicholas, be nice. Be nice today. Turn off the stream and cuddle a bit. Um. <sighs> So did we have all the fun part yet? Yeah, let's go into the chat. Let's go into the chat. This is weird. Uh, let me see. Let me see. From work, a look into. Hello, Michael. Thank you for tuning in. Dutch Nicholas. Hey, homie. How do you do? Mr. Bonani is in the house. Thank you for the subscription, by the way. Greg. Hello, homies. Could it be fierce? Cotan. Could it be? Could it be? Could it be? I don't know. Andy Jackson is in the house. Hey, man. McFroyd, homie. Magnus. I hope it's VS Code time to diet. I always use VS Code. Of course. Of course, of course. Good morning from NZ. Well, that's uh, that's like the upside down that's like below me. But good morning, sir. Insane in the membrane. Indeed, Miss M. Joan. Fridual, hey, homies. Hey, Andy. Sir, good enough. This in the house as well. Photo 848. I was looking forward to Tuesdays and Fridays. Well, that's good to hear, mate. That's good to hear. So, so do I, by the way. I, I So do I. Morning all. Evening there. Oh, evening here. Okay, yeah, it's evening here. It's evening here. It's uh, almost 9 p.m. Clickbait is probably just a tutorial on how to install HA in Python, Fia, and Python via and farm OS X and VS Code here. Yeah, absolutely. Afternoon here in Florida. Well, that's... But you have, you have like, like the temperatures are already better, I guess. Anyone try the crony thing? It doesn't start even display message. Is it built for that? Yeah, it is built for it. Uh, yes, sir, good enough. You should check your system logs from Hasio. So go to the Hasio tab, go to the system logs, see if anything is in there, and hop into the Discord chat from the add-on community add-ons. We can help you out, mate. Retreat from home system. Oh, that's nice, by the way. Uh, M. Joe's M. Joe Grambo. Grambo in the house. Hey, man, how do you do? Stas, good evening from Utrecht. From Utrecht. How gaat it, man? So, let me see. The ending of Checkpoint always reminds me of the closing theme of an anime. Yeah. I should add some songs in from... Uh, I don't know. Some, some anime series. Probably check if I am allowed to do that, by the way. Uh, we aren't all dressed to kill. I'm going to kill something tonight, that's for sure. Look at this, this hipster. I thought it was like a fitting for tonight to wear bow tie. I'm sorry, mister. Party time. The glasses, yeah, the glasses, but they were awkward behind the screen. VS Code party. Yeah, always. Uh, all kinds of sticker, 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 sticker thing. Then the, the, the... Jake. Hey, homie, how do you do? Oh, stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it. Hello, Ingo Go. Mr. Banani just subscribed. You are Go Go. No, you must. What is it? You are Go Go. Right? I, I, I already forgot. I'm so sorry, mate. Frank is watching his own stream in 3D. <laughs> no, I cannot watch myself in front of me. I do have a, a monitor, but I, I no. 
And I'm not one to watch myself all the time. I would get insane. I'm not sure how you guys do it, by the way. Sounds great. Oh, that's the sound of the microphone check I asked for. Great, thank you. I was doing some work in VS Code, went to the market page, the VS Code add-on is doing well. Uh, yeah, that's the extension, by the way. I'm going to talk about something totally different today. I can't wait to see the VS Code add-on. Could it be? Could it be? VS Code docs. Yeah. Screen cap pre... Uh, LOL legend. Makes me wish it was my birthday. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome, mate. It was a... Big but lovely surprise for her. Okay. Happy birthday, girlfriend of Nicholas. Here we go. Oh man, I could have I could have seen it coming. I've got Twitch clips of this piece, right? Now I have Twitch clips. <sighs> Verdict, don't give up your day job. <laughs> no, I, I, I didn't plan on doing that by the way, Christian. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good evening from South Africa. Okay. Hey mate. Wow, VS Code is working. Almost spoiled it. Dill L, hey from Ohio, hey man. So many people tuned in. Did you hear your name on the HA podcast? <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. I listened to the HA podcast and I the, my name is popping in once in a while. Um, uh, it's kind of humbling, actually. Um, so I've been on a podcast, by the way. I think it was, I don't know, episode... 16 or something but that was way in the beginning i was just starting out and it was all weird to me at that point and if i i recently listened to it again and that was weird as hell that was weird i was like a little bit like i i i don't know man i was new to the community i was new to the game i was new to the to, to everything and then those weird guys uh asked me to come onto the podcast and i was okay it's time for you to get on a podcast again andy well, you might suggest it. I'm not sure how it works, though. I'm not the kind of guy that goes in and asks, like... I'm not the kind of guy that asks, like, Hey, dude, can I go talk on your podcast? I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. Hmm. Hmm. But I do like listening to it, though. So let's go. Let's get into the subject of today. I hope you guys have a good had a good weekend, and I hope you automated the shit out of your home. I did not automate the shit out of my home. Is this normal? Jesus, Nate, Paul Sinclair, thank you for subscribing. That's appreciated. Here we go. Yeah, boy. Holy shit! And Shinoi, thank you for the follow, man. That's appreciated as well. As well, please let me know in the chat, sir. Do you like cats or dogs? Andrew, you're trying to get a ticket from YouTube and Richard as well. That's not going to work from YouTube. Uh, that's a Twitch-only feature. I'm so sorry. If you're looking for a stick giveaway for YouTube, you should go to Dr. Z's or just hop onto my Twitch. It's Twitch.tv/frank, and well, you can find me there, and then you can try the exclamation mark ticket to get in. Uh, and, and the image quality on Twitch is way better, by the way, so... Yeah, no shit. You like cats, sir? Okay, here we go. Thank you for the follow. That Oh, she's behind the giveaway. That's not so nice. There we go. There's the cat. Thank you for, uh, for the follow. That's appreciated. Mark Sutton, choo-choo. Choo-choo, homie. Uh -huh. Even more Twitch clips. Oh man, I'm going to look at them later. So, let's start with the big deal. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm going to switch to my desktop and I'm going to show you what I've been working on for a pretty long time already. And recently uh, a part of the solution popped up and this weekend I actually cracked it. So, I'm going to show you something I've been building. There were some spoilers already. I've been tweeting about it uh, without talking about it. And even Dr. Seas has shown something. So you might now know what's, uh, what this is all about, but I'm going to show you it in real action right now. Dr. Seas in the house, yo bro, how do you do? <laughs> what's up, the dog? The dog is in the house. Oh, Not this dog, by the way. Um, so here we go, let's switch to my desktop. 
if I can find the right button. Oh, I'm so hyped, I'm totally off today. Here we go. So welcome to my desktop. I need to take a big breath. I, I have to be. I have to be calm. I'm. I'm probably more excited than you guys are, um, but I'm going to show you something. Let me take this off screen for a little sec here. Make sure I did not leave open the thing I'm afraid of. No, I did not. So here we go. We all know, probably you all know or have seen or have heard about the ID add-on. That's this little thing here. It's a nice in-browser editor and you can use it to actually create uh, your add-ons or your configuration, which I use it for add-ons as well, but for your configuration. For example, uh, arming your alarm and you can edit your file straight in here, which is kind of cool. It's really, really really useful actually um so yeah but the thing is the ide add-on is based on cloud9 ide and you must know cloud9 ide the company has been bought by amazon we all know amazon right and they have closed the source well they have not closed it but the open source part of this uh, which runs this add-on is abandoned it has no activity since last october and it's 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 not it's not like it's not like going anywhere so yeah passwords yeah passwords uh yes i made it even with three hours of sleep hey there solo fly thank you for tuning in man hello mr keebler is here v cloud i'm here for the big news okay ide is already a step off from the original configurator and on i think so too we are here buddy Okay, I'm excited. What is it? I like how your head is underlying it. Yeah, it is. It actually is. And this is my production system, by the way. So this is the real deal here. Um, as in, I'm going to show you how it actually looks. Right here, right above my head, I'm going to drag it a little bit. I have a new button. And we all know Visual Studio Code. This is the button, Visual Studio Code. We all know it. It's like an, this amazing program for on a computer. And you will have to have a Samba add-on or, or any other method. And then go into your system. And then open that folder and then type. And if you're on the road, that becomes a problem. So, yeah. But look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you. The Visual Studio Code add-on. And I'm so freaking excited about this. I'm so freaking excited about this. This is Visual Studio Code. The full, full-blown Visual Studio Code. So no, like, there are a couple of limitations though, since it's not, obviously not running on your computer, but inside the add-on. But they, those are very, very minimal. Freaking minimal. It's full-blown. So let me show you a demo of how it works. Since um, maybe you've seen the tweet by um by by k scholard uh k scholard actually made the um, visual studio code extension for home assistant and i've embedded it it's pre-baked in into this this add-on um also in this add-on pre-baked in is the mdi icons so you install this add-on you open it and you go and it works it's all pre-configured pre-installed just go. So let me let me let me give you a sneak peek on how it works. Let me open uh, let me open an automation for you. Um, let me go into my I don't know routines is empty house uh, my armed away procedure. So this is my armed away. You can see it's Visual Studio Code full blown just in the browser here. Um, and now the demo will fit. Oh look at this the auto completion. There we go. It's already kicking in. So this is actually the auto completion. Um, using the internal api of hasio so there's no need to set up things it's just working out of the box and you can just well that's that's handy right um 
Something else, uh, the MDI extension works as well. Uh, for example, uh, let me go into a customization of mine, the entities. I probably have my bar. This is my bar. I have set a defined a custom icon for my bar. Uh, let's just, I want another icon, something with a light, I guess. Something with a light would be helpful. I... And then the demo breaks, of course. Probably, right? Yeah. <laughs> Failure. But it works, I swear to God. Not sure why this extension is not working at this point. But it should auto-complete uh, the MDI icons as well. Uh, secondly, we have the MDI Explorer, which is not working as well. So probably the MDI Explorer is not working. I don't know. We're going to look into it later. Um, so this is, really is the first version. So I expect people to have issues. Then we have the HasIO console right here. Um, the HasIO console right here is a terminal, and this is a has everything you you kind of expect. So from here you can actually use the HasIO command line. Uh, HasIO HA check, for example, just works. Uh, we can also do HasIO HA restart. Uh, but furthermore, the full uh, HasCLI uh, is in here as well. So including auto completion. So you can hit tap tap and then just do things like, okay, give me my entities. And there we go. We have a list of my entities. Uh, this just freaking works. So this is all in here. Uh, there are also tools in here for JAML lint. Uh, if you like to check your JAML uh, syntax, um, network scanning devices with Nmap. If you are looking for a specific device and don't know the IP, uh, mosquito clients is in here as well pops up clients for debugging so that's all, all, all there that's all there so this is it what do you think this was the quick tour what do you think oh and by the way the biggest deal extensions the extension oh that's probably why my uh, I, I tested an extension out that's probably why the mdi icons break uh, but the extensions are here uh, so for example if you like the vs code uh, the vs code icons is, is i guess if you like those, you can just install them and they will be instantly activated as well. So here we go, set so team, VS Code icons, and we have VS Code style icons. It's amazing. So I think I lost something on the chat. <laughs> and this is all a freaking add-on. Visual Studio Code. There it is, mates. There it is. So let me scroll up a little. I missed a lot. So let me scroll up, but it probably are questions. Uh, where, did I, where, 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 where did I... Where was I? Where was I? Hey, Doc. That was Doc coming in, waiting for the big news. Ship it! Ship it! Please! Well, that's the idea for tonight. We Yes! Works better as an add-on than it does on my Windows 10 install. Oh, that's good to know, Robert. CDX Doc spoke about it on his stream. Yeah, I sent him a picture and he showed it. But he, he was allowed to. The fun thing is, I tweeted about this. I tweeted I tweeted about this a couple of times. Uh, even earlier on, like weeks ago and months ago, I was working on it. And this week, I actually tweeted uh, about Holy Mother of Home Automations, I'm in love, that code completion of Visual Studio Code using the VS Code extension by Case makes Home Assistant so much nicer. And everybody saw, like, the auto-completion. And was excited about auto-completion, auto actually. But if you looked real close, you could actually see it was already the add-on. It was running inside Home Assistant. Um, most people did not notice. Uh, some people did. Like, wait, how do you get VS Code as a web editor in your setup? Some people did notice, but most of the people who liked it, I guess they didn't see or were quiet. So that's kind of cool. And kids are like a base hour. Well, thank you, Hooray. You're amazing. Thank you. Holy God of home automation. <laughs> it is holy God. Does it work on a Raspberry Pi 3? Okay, now we're adding, entering the section of the, the not so good things. The Raspberry Pi 3 is simply, well, there are two, actually there are two main, three main reasons. Three main reasons why this add-on will not be released for Raspberry Pi 3. And so if you're running a Raspberry Pi 3, you'll still uh, be stuck with the IDE or the configurator. And the reason for this is one, Visual Studio Code, the, the server running underneath this is simply not available for ARM processors, which is run by 
the ARM processors is run what, what powers the Raspberry Pi. Although it's in the making and I've seen already some compiling and stuff, so it's it's really close by. But Visual Studio Code is one heavy, heavy metal thing. Um, and with one gigabyte of memory, memory, that's not going to do it. So it will just kill your Raspberry Pi in terms of memory. Uh, so that's not an option. But they are working on a solution to the problem and they actually know where it's coming from. So that's kind of cool. That So still hope there. And for uh, th the number three, what was number three again? I forgot it, probably a lie, never mind. But those two reasons are just like the biggest ones, and that's probably not going to do it. Although I might be offering uh, an alternative in the future, uh, which I'm also exploring, which is called Tia. The guys at Tia are creating a Fisher Studio clone, Fisher Studio Code clone. It's like Fisher Studio Code, but then written from the ground up, but it's actually compatible with Fisher Studio Code extensions. Uh, almost, they're working on it. So that might actually be a good candidate for the Raspberry Pi in the future. But for now, this add-on is only available for people who are running this thing like in Proxmox, a VM, or uh, plain Ubuntu Docker. Um, you need a powerful machine. This this beast just eats up memory. It's based on Google Chrome. It eats memory. It, it, it takes about a gigabyte to run uh, if you have opened a lot of files. So it, it, it can be hungry. It can absolutely be hungry, but that will be lower pretty soon. Uh, but it works amazing. So that's the Raspberry Pi 3 thing. Dr. C's great work. Frank, you're welcome, mate. Doc Spode. Uh, whoa, whoa. Wait, couldn't this be Terrier? Let's be used to program Arduinos that are connected to the Home Assistant host. Uh, Hutch, yes. Yes. Maybe. Hooray, you're amazing. Thank you, sir. Um, what is this add-on I'm based on? I want to install it and use... I'm using VNSF can, so I can't use the HASIO add-ons. It's based on Code Server. So if you look for Code Server, it's by coder.com. You can actually install a self-hosted version, So, but you have to do all the stuff yourself. Um, so if you run Docker, you can easily trigger it. Or you can download the binary and run it manually. That's also possible. But you still have to do all the extension stuff and making data persistent and well, okay, there you go. Jens, thank you for subscribing, man. That's appreciated. Thank you so much. Holy god of home automation. Uh, Frank is the man, you're on fire. Yes, I, this is cool, awesome. Ludius is in the house. I'm here, what did you expect? <laughs> what was the Ludius effect for sure? Yeah, that was the Ludius effect, absolutely. We are using a lot of bandwidth. Oh, is that true? Failed to enter the giveaway. Okay, bye bye configurator. MDI side is slow most of the time. Yeah, this does not rely on the MDI side as far as I know, but I'm not sure. Let's check it. Excellent, does Git work normally with it on? Yes, Git works normally. It's fully here. I cannot show you it since I'm kind of afraid that it would show maybe I don't know, changes that I should not show, uh, but Git is also available in the command line. Max, uh, thank you for the follow, that's appreciated, boy. Thank you so much. Please let me know in the chat, sir, do you like cats or dogs? But yeah, uh, Git is functioning normally, the add-ons are functioning, the extensions are functioning normally, search is working, everything is here, even things like the hotkeys just freaking work. Um, so everything you're, do you're doing on the desktop is just like the same. It's the same. It's just freaking the same. Um, yeah, I don't know. Awesome, ship it, nice, yeah. Show us the JAML checker works, please. Oh, uh, you can just type JAML in and then uh, the file you want to check. For example, uh, and this tells nothing, so everything is okay. But if I would make it not okay, it will like, error the shit out of you and tell you what's wrong. You can also do it with like jumblelin dot and then it will check all files. Since this is my production system, I'm not going to do that right here. Since if there's an error, I'm afraid that my show thinks I do not want to show like a secret file or something. And uh, can't wait to try it. We're going to work at it. It's fantastic. Cannot believe how complete this on feels already and I haven't even installed it. Here we go. Will you marry Frank? Oh, uh, he asked me to marry him. That's cute. <laughs> Frank, cool. And the eye is working fine for me. That's okay, man. Awesome work. Anything that helps keep Jamal alive with Home Assistant is amazing. This great tool for users, beginners, and advanced. Yeah, I guess so. Looking great. Oh, man. Misty. 
Misty Wow Effect. Hmm. Just install from Edge, it's there. Do not install from Edge. If you run an Edge, like a couple of people, if you do not know what the Edge is, the add-on is already available on a special repo where development is taking place. But there's no way to migrate from the one to the other. So if you want to play right now, you can go ahead and use the Edge. Uh, but please realize I'm going to release it tonight on Stable. Uh, and we're going to look into a couple of little things. But I'm going to release it on Stable. Uh, and that's much better version to install since you will get updates the normal way and stuff. Uh, love it even have my own team add-on yeah the teams work as well that's great i saw the tweet i saw the frame frame the tweet were the tweet was when i checked the edge until i found it <laughs> it's a secret yeah secret oh no you are pushing me more and more to get a small home server thought it would be fine with a pie you should get a knock or something or as somebody else pointed out to me today um If, okay, okay, no, no, hold on, hold on. Somebody else tweeted something or, or sent me something, which is a great alternative. I saw it and it's I, I like the idea. So... Let me see, where is it? Where is it? Somebody recommended this and it's actually a pretty good idea. So this is, let me, let me Google this for you. This is the X230 ThinkPad, and this is Ian Tritch. Ian, actually, Robert Band, thank you for the follow, man. That's appreciated. So this is actually a Lenovo ThinkPad, and it has, you can get it with an i5 as well. Um, so that's pretty powerful. And you can turn the screen around, and the screen is actually a touchscreen. So Ian was actually talking about making it into, like... I don't know, running HA and convert it into like a wall tablet as well. So that's interesting. I thought that was an interesting new use case I didn't hear. And it has a battery, so it has some kind of UPS and uh, built-in debug screen and keyboard in case something is going wrong. But at the same time, it's a touch screen, so you could display Lovelace on it maybe. I don't know. I thought that was a pretty interesting use case. So the X230 ThinkPad. X, sorry, X. Uh, well, the chat is going. I'm going to scroll by a little. Sorry. Perfect. I'm sorry if I'm going to skip it. It's just a little bit too much and I want to get on. Uh, thank Frank for this amazing on. You're welcome. I think I have to port over my hat side to my server. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you have to really feel the passwords, Dr. C. He can have my passwords. I have no problem with that. Hmm. Bought a Raspberry card and moving away from Pi will be a lot of work. I think so too. I've been quite happy using last year's laptop. Plenty of cores, plenty of space, RAM. It's probably a good idea. That actually sounds like a good idea. Yeah, for ThinkPad love. Server with a GUI. Yeah, Lydia it can be done. You could install Ubuntu with uh, with the UI. Uh, and install Docker-based Hasio at the same time. So it will run both. And just run Google Chrome in like maximized without border, like kiosk mode. Since you can run VS Code on it, it would be a nice tablet even to use on a couch. Probably, yes. There's also a new version. Here we go. Frank, are you running on a NUC? No, I'm running on an HP ProBook. I'm running it on a laptop as well because of the battery and because of it, laptops use low power and because it has a built-in keyboard and stuff so if i need something i can just go into there and open the screen and go so i run it off a laptop <sighs> i'm 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 down i I've, I've been i've been to the end of the chat so good to hear you guys are happy and like it uh and thank you for all the retweets so now let's 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 go into the actual thing the thing is, let's go work. Yeah, let's go to work. The thing is, I have not released it yet. So this was the preview. The, the thing you saw here, this is actually installed from Edge. So this is a development build, um, but it is not shipped yet. Let me show you the install process. We're going to install the development build right here. Uh, so let's get the development repo here.
Hold on. Robert Bano. Hey, Frank. Been following from YouTube, finally arrived on Twitch. Well, hello, mate. You got me moving from Homes here to Home Assistant. Thank you. Well, you're welcome, sir. I hope you enjoyed it. Robert Petit wants to see the finished product. <laughs> hey, I got to soon have school tomorrow. Okay, hey, good to see you, Hutch. Hope to see you later. Okay, so it installed the ad, so we can now see Visual Studio Code and some other add-ons that are not released yet, if you paid attention. All because of Doc and Frank. I'm so sorry, mate. I would not I, I didn't mean to get you into trouble. So the Visual Studio Code add-on is pretty big. It's 400 megabytes. Uh, which is pretty large for an add-on, but it's comparable to IDE. IDE, IDE is like almost the same size. Um, so we've installed it. There it is. It runs on port 1337. Because I could. Um, let's say it, let's set a password. I'm going to say has IO, has IO, has IO. Let's save it. We're going to start it. Uh, this is a fresh installation, by the way, so there is nothing here. Uh, so the thing starts now. Let's see if it starts. Here we go. There it goes. The password is not in the have I been pwned database, so that's cool. You can use hasio, hasio, hasio. It's not been hacked yet. Here we go. It installs. Let's open it up. Okay. Hasio, hasio, hasio. Let me turn off Dark Reader here since that's a little bit annoying right now. There we go. This is how you install it. This is how you install it. It is now installed. It's running. It has everything configured, including including the automation parts. So things like, well, I know this is the wrong location, but uh, entity ID should trigger it. Here we go. It works. That's all you have to do. Set a password, start it. So that's cool. Let's see if the MDI now works, by the way. I want to know. MDI. There it is. There's the MDI. And you can click this little eye here, so you can actually have a preview. Uh, so that's helpful, right? Does it auto indent for Jumble? Yes, it does. So that's really useful. And uh, yeah, it's just full blown Visual Studio Code made. It's just full blown. You can get the terminal. Uh, so we can run things like the hasio check command, which I dare to do at this machine. That works. Configuration passes. We could do a jommel lint of the configuration.jommel. Like, okay, line is too long. You can tweak this if you want to, but these are just warnings, so that's okay. What else? At Frank, do you monitor your Unify control with the Unify component? No. I'm not sure. If there are issues, Gary, with uh, the component, I would go to your home assistant and make an issue. I cannot help you with the pieces. Caught a stream, would can't listen while I do work stuff. Okay, I'm sorry, did you blur? Uh, the fact that the port was open means it was already yours. <laughs> well, it's not open. It's not used by any of the add-ons we use. So yeah, but you can change it. Change it if you like, right? You can just go in here and change the port number. Like I don't know, maybe you will like uh, something else. Eight, 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 eight. Uh, but yeah, I found this fitting. Is this something that will be working with the stable version? Let me see. What is this? This uh, this is an this is a documented issue. And I'm going to tell you about it if, if it pops up, but it's documented. So, um, yeah, that's known. That's known. And it's being worked on. This add-on is not perfect. It runs CodeServer, and CodeServer is just three weeks old. And it uses uh, Visual Studio Code with CodeServer to actually bring it to the web. And then I've added some extra little layers to make it all work. This is really crazy. Thank you for this. Yesterday, my... You're welcome, by the way. Ian, welcome to the stream, mate. How do you do? 
Hey, that's the same port as you use for Mag Magic Mirror. You should move, mate. <laughs> All good, Sid. I did, uh, I did a, a, a grab on my code base, but Magic Mirror is not in my, my code base, I guess. Oh, well. The stupid no big you've been sharing in the live stream. Hey, hey, and on looks behave, behave, behave there. Okay. So this is uh, everything works. I can do also a SIO, HA, and well, all the SIO commands work, and has uh, has CLI works, and Nmap works, and well, a thing is in here. You can even well look at the files and do stuff you like. I don't know. We can do ESP Home files editing can also be done here, and well, let's hope ESP Home will do something awesome with Visual Studio Code. But yeah. Okay, so what's going on? What what are we going to do? Um, what's the state of things? I'm kind of lost. Let's get Physio Studio Code here. So the documentation is done. That's cool. Uh, a couple of people have been testing, so I had a lot of feedback and time to fix some small things. Nevertheless, it's a young, very young add-on and a very young product as well. Uh, so I kind of expect people to run into two things and issues. We saw a little one as well. Frank, do you DD, 3D print? No, I do not. I noticed there's an MQTT add-on for Octopi. Octoprint. No. Code server add-on. Yes, it's based on code server and it's... It actually uses Code Server and Visual Studio Code to work, uh, so it's not just Code Server. Uh, in the end, yes, it's Code Server. Uh, absolutely, it's it's the best solution I came across. It has some disadvantages, but I got it working really nicely in an add-on. It has been a freaking pain, but yeah, it is. It's basically um, this is the Docker file. It's basically using Code Server right here. It's picking it up. Uh, it also uses Visual Studio Code. It builds Visual Studio Code to to get some things from the Visual Studio Code and merges the, those two parts together in the final add-on where it picks up things from Visual Studio Code and Code Server and puts it inside the add-on base I already have and adds to it like the SIO CLI and all the plugins and I don't know. So it, this is the complete stuff. Uh, so in the end, we have an image where the Docker container for the HasIO add-ons is merged with the code server and with Visual Studio Code stuff and all the other things we have and used to from the SSH add-ons or uh, the IDE add-on. And this whole package is just there. That's how it works. Ah, turn on dark mode. I'm sorry, mate. Let me turn it on. This is much more like it. Zoka, what do you think the minimum spec is for running VS Code? Well, you'd need at least two gigabytes of memory, that's for sure. But you're going, you're going to learn. You're going to learn it. It also depends on how many files you have. In my case, I have an insane amount of files um, because I split everything in a single file. But if you, if you have like less files, it will probably be less of a problem. ZSH was a really nice addition first time. I've had access to it, yeah. And it also has all the ZSH stuff in here that you, that, that, that you were seen in previous add-ons. So uh, things like, where is it? Lost it. Did I open it? Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. It also does like, if you type a wrong command, it turns red like this. But if the command is executable, it will actually show it. And if you hit tab uh, twice, uh, which is not working for the HasIO add-on command, but for Git it is, uh, you can actually get help with it so it actually tells you all the things you can run on git and what it does uh, same goes for the has cli which does support this uh, it actually tells you which options you have and you, it, this is all part of uh, zsh and the magic that's in there uh, and the command turns green as soon as it's viable for execution uh, the same goes for like completion if i type has io space uh, you can already see it's pretty light i'm not sure if it's visible on stream but it shows has io i did a space and then it shows ha check since that's the last one I, I i did and i can push the arrow to the right and then hit enter and it will do that 
I can also browse up, so I can type a partial of the command. Like I type has, and then hit the arrow up, and it will show me all the has.io commands I've run, which is just a few, but yeah, there we go. So you can also type part of the command and then hit the up and down arrow to see the history of that specific command. So that's cool. I have dark readers set to whitelist so it only does the site I want. Yeah, that's probably a good idea though. Soon you will deprecate IDE? No, I will not deprecate IDE since I do not have a replacement for our Raspberry Pi 3 users. So no. So then nice, so cool. What other specs of your Pro Book? It's a Core i5 with eight gigabits of uh, gigabytes of uh, of uh, memory and has a 500 gigabyte SSD and has the 12 terabyte NAS mounted as well. Uh, so that's that's basically the spec. Uh, but this virtual machine you're looking right here has two gigabytes of memory uh, with uh, two cores, I think, on my i7 laptop. So this is my, I'm streaming from my laptop. So this is actually running in uh, Vagrant uh, with two, gig, two gigabytes at this point. I, I tuned it down, it's two gigabytes. Frank likes to maintain deprecated ons, so won't worry about that. Yeah, I, I maintain a couple of deprecated ons, absolutely. Screw IDE uses, I have a NUC nil switch. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of amazing, right? It is amazing. Yes, I know, like Homebridge. Oh uh, yeah, that, that add-on might be getting its return. From no niches, currently the only option is to click on the little gawk. What is a gawk? Uh, that's, that's the little... I don't know, it's called a gawk. It's like the little... Gawk. <laughs> uh, I think MDI has a gawk. MDI. Or is it written differently? Is that in Gawk? It's like the little wheel. The little... The little... Oh, with a C, yeah. That's probably the typo there. We should fix that. Yeah, that thing. With a C, not with a G. Okay. There we go. Gawk wheel. Okay. Gear wheel. Yeah. Indeed. So let's fix that typo. Let's fix that typo right away. Uh, so let me get my terminal in here. Here we go. Let's get the code base. Let me see if I have the latest and greatest. I do. Let's open Visual Studio Code. This is the actual Visual Studio Code, which we need to... I've built Visual Studio Code in Visual Studio Code. Can you believe it? Inception. Exhibit style. Uh, so that's part of the uh, documentation, right? Here it is. Tika Swishes, thank you for subscribing, man. That's really appreciated. Here we go. Ship it, boy. Chris Ferguson, what's going on? Nothing special. Just a little new add on. Just, you know, the usual business, nothing. Jasper Tandwheel. Yes, Tandwheel, indeed. Inception, Inception, Inception. Do you have control over the browser window name displayed in the browser for this add-on? Um, it displaces the file it displays the file you have open. Oh, it's underneath the tab, you can see. Oh, hold on. So it displays the name of the tab you have opened, the file name of the tab. So it's it is recognizable, so that's helpful. That it is helpful. Sorry, I'm spelling. I need help. You do not need pad. That's really, really helpful. Thank you for correcting that. I, that's not a problem. Is there a web view in VS Code so you can do VS Code inside VS Code? Inside VS Code? I could do the VS Code add-on inside VS Code add-on. That's possible. Yes. And that's the great thing. Think about this. This is full-blown Visual Studio Code, right? So you can actually develop add-ons on Visual Studio Code. But since it's Visual Studio Code, and this is just like, I don't know, you can install Python or Node if you're into it, you could actually take and install Python here in this add-on and develop your custom, custom, um, your custom component for Home Assistant inside Home Assistant right here. You can even debug it. You could like clone the front end inside a folder point your configuration to that 
that, that, that Polymer front end and start coding, building right inside Home Assistant. That actually works. <coughs> hey, HAC Align integration in the terminal is killer. Yeah, it is. I know it displays the file is configurable. If Home Assistant can, I'm, uh, if, if, I'm not sure. I'm not sure we can look into it. Window title, yes, it's customizable. Just the way you like it. So you can customize the window title the way you like. Uh, so for example, we're going to make it, uh, who was asking by the way? Magnus. So it's now setting Magnus and customize.jumble.magnus. Yes, is the answer. Maybe the icon is nice. It uses the icon from the file. I'm not sure why. Um, and I'm not sure how that works. And I'm not sure if that is customizable though. Uh, but you can do all kinds of things. I don't know. But you can, you can customize it. Perfect, thanks for showing it, you're welcome. Hey Coco, hey Coco, how do you do? By the way, Frank, get quick and got GPG integration in five last week, but why would I need get quick and? Look at this, I have, we have source code, code control here. Let me in, let me make a git repo right here. There we go. And uh, uh, we can commit right here. That's, that's, that's all we have to do. And if you're, up to like a real good add-on uh, extension, you can install Gitlands, which I definitely recommend. Uh, so install Gitlands, so we can even do more right here. Come on, installing. There we go, it's installed. We have Gitlands running. Oh man, this is just... Welcome home. Welcome home. But Git, I will I will definitely look into Git Crick and do. Jacob, hi Frank. Over the last days, I've tried to move HashIO database away from Pi. Is there a way to move so it's direct the database to example USB on a HashIO Pi? No, that's not possible, unfortunately, Jacob. Um, we are discussing this internally, though. Late shift over, update my colleague and reconnect from. That's good. Damn! I'm not sure my brain can handle all of this. <laughs> Is it time for some trains? Oh man, today it's time for everything, man. I don't care. Shit, dude. Are you planning to add the identity server hints ID? No, that would not be possible, last Smoke, 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 weed. Smoke, weed every day. Yo, squirrel, drop it hard. Smoke, smoke weed every day. Smoke weed every day. Damn, son. Frank, are you planning on doing the entity slash services hints and ID? No, that would be not possible. First of all, the extension is not written using a language server, which would be required. Uh, third, the IDE is running Cloud9, and Cloud9 is that. <laughs> Tika switches. Smoke, smoke weed. You're welcome, mate. Every day. Yo, scrounge out the heart. Smoke, smoke weed every day. Every day, smoke weed, every day, damn son! So, that's the demo. If you have questions about Visual Studio Code and what's going on in here... Oh, an eagle eye tag! Eagle eye tag! Thank you so much, boy! Thank you for subscribing, man, that's appreciated! So if you have any questions, just drop them in the chat. I can show you how it works. But most of all, what we're going to do today and what my focus should be today is getting this thing shipped. We need to ship this. We're going to tweet about it. I'm going to make uh, postings about it. We need to make a community topic about it. So we, we need to do all kinds of stuff for the release. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. Besides showing you this, I'm going to take you with me today on on the release process. 
on everything that needs to be done to get it out, since it's not just hitting release and, and setting a, a GitLab tag or GitHub tag. It's not just pushing this really this nice button here, which is the easy part. This just takes like two seconds. But it has to be added to the store. We have to ensure people are do know about it. Actually, obviously, you guys already know, right? But we're going to 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 we're going to 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 retweet it, right? When we're going to put it on Facebook. Uh, I'm also planning on I'm doing some other things, but yeah. <laughs> Engaging retweet army, and maybe I don't know. I think it's happy. Frank, please do home bridge. Regards, Warknoid. Uh, home bridge is a user user. Home bridge is is uh, is uh, is in the revamp. Uh, it is partly functioning. I've been testing some things with it, but so please be patient. But today's focus will be VS Code, not other add-ons. I do have another add-on which I might do if I have time left, which is a nice little thing, which Soldi Automation has been asking about a long time ago, and he actually stopped asking about it. So I'm not sure if it's too late, but nevertheless, it's a pretty amazing thing, but that's for later. We're, we're going to start with Fisher Studio Code. So we need to make a list. I need to make a list on things we need to do. Um, so I don't know. Let's uh, let's get a haste bin. I know haste bin sucks, but it's probably good enough to type something in. Here we go. So to do. Can I zoom in? Yeah, I can. To do. To do. We need to fix the typo. The gawk in gawk and commit it. We need to uh, prepare the beta repository to receive the VS Code add-on. Prepare the stable repo to receive the VS Code add-on. I had my own little happy moment this weekend. Got two of my three Brick Gosens plugin working. Oh, that's cool, Gretchen. That's cool. I hate it when it happens, though. <laughs> um, prepare the stable. We need to prepare a tweet. Tweet, tweet. We need some screenshots. Dark Bunny SC, welcome, mate. How do you do? Here we go. Thank you so much. Yeah, boy. For the people who do not know, that's the hookup. Thank you for tuning in, mate. How do you do? You've been watching Sneaky Beaky. Sneaky Beaky, like. What do you think, sir? The hookup? Is this something you like? And just thank you for subscribing. Seven months in a row already? Yeah, boy. Thank you so much. You're doing good. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Uh, prepare to. We should make some screenshot. We should make some screenshot of the screenshots of that thing so we can add it to like tweets. So we need to prepare a tweet. We need to prepare. Oh, let's start here. We need to prepare the community uh, posting. And we need to prepare Facebook announcement. And prepare the... Uh, I'm going to do Instagram as well this time. I like Instagram lately. <sighs> okay, I'm on a roll here. On a about. And it's fully fledged. It's fledged. It was corrected by somebody, actually. This was piece... But that's okay, man. If you're on a roll, that's I like. Uh, that's in the config. No, this is in fully future, fully, fully. Where is that? Where is it? Here it is. Oh, there it is. Fix that. If you find more, that would be helpful. Hi. Hi, Ellie. How do you do? Instagram? Instagram. Yes, I do have Instagram. Instagram.com slash Frank. And I, I, I Insta, 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 I, w I wanted to say Insta get, but I'm, I'm like an Unreal Tournament player in the days. Uh, but yeah, 
I, I, I do a little bit of a Instagrammy thingy posting thingies lately, and I, I kind of like it. And uh, Home Assistant is also became became active this week on um, on Instagram as well. So that's kind of cool. Insta misspelling. I was commenting on the spelling. Oh, that's okay. Sorry, mate. Instagram. Oh, that's the. Oh, I misspelled it in here. Instra. <laughs> okay. So I guess it is. Fix typos. Commit it. This is basically it. Uh, what else do I need to do? Do I need anything else? Pat. No, this is a copy. Paste it? <laughs> Seriously? Did I make those simple typos? That's the README. That's the, the normal README. Thank you so much, by the way. And this is off. Uh, e. There we go. To do SSL active by default, no, I'm not going to do that since I'm actually not encouraging um, to ship it, and 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 there might be some changing up ahead. I'm going to leave it off for now. Um, maybe, or should I turn it on? What do you guys think? Should I set like SSL default to true? I think it's default true. Did I? No, it's false. So, what do you guys think? Should we enable SSL by default? I guess that's best practice, right? And we have... Pat Bruni, tell me when to stop. Please, no. God, please, get all the spelling errors out. Use NPM, no need to SSL for default, yeah. Turn on, turn on. SSL true. Yeah, here we go. So SSL is going to be true. That's fixed. Heard enough. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. You you guys are totally right. We're going to do this. We're going to enable it by default. Absolutely. Okay, uh, I'm going to pick up Source Tree since I made a couple of changes. And this allows me to pick and make different things. So this is just all readme stuff, readme stuff. Stage hunk. Uh, hammer turns on SSL by default. Done. It's default in most, if not all, community add-ons. It is. It's default in all. So it's actually inconsistent, and I agree on that. It should be consistent, and that's fixed now. So it's now SSL by default. Um, well, I'm going to commit this. I'm going to commit this. I'm going to make this the final changes for documentation. What is NPM? Do I need new add-on anywhere? Yeah, no, it's not released TCAST, but it is an add-on in production or, or under progress. That's a better word. Nope. Oh. There she goes. I'm calling this the final changes, by the way. I'm calling this the final changes. So done. And we did SSL default. Prepare the beta and prepare the stable. 
that's what I'm going to do before. I'm, let's let's do these first, since the build is now running. So if we go into the pipeline, there's a new pipeline triggered right here. So this thing is building. It's now building the add-on. Let me turn off Dark Reader here. Here we go. The thing is now building, uh, which is an edge build again with the latest changes. And while this is building, let's prepare the community stuff. Let's prepare the community posting. And this is going to be like really simple. I'm going to open two of them. One, I'm going to move to the other screen uh, outside of your image, uh, but you're definitely going to see what's going on. What program are you using for staging in Git? Uh, Keith, I'm using Source Tree. Since Source Tree is not, I definitely would not, not recommend Source Tree. I, 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 I do think it's not a good program, but what it does good is give you a little bit of overview and it allows you to stage separate lines and pieces and chunks of your commits as separate commits. So that's super easy and that's something that copy past, that's already fixed. So that's just that's the reason why I use source uh, the, 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 the source tree. So let's make a new topic here on a community, and let's find a recent one. Let's take I don't know what what did what did I recently release? That's a long time ago, right? Let's pick up the I updated the SSH add-on. Let's pick the SSH SSH add-on, and I copy the topic title from the SSH add-on in here, so we have a start. Since I do not have a template for this, nevertheless. Visual Studio Code. So, we need a new screenshot. I made this screenshot somewhere. I stored it. Yeah. Let's add a screenshot here. If I click thank you for the follow, man, that's appreciated. A subscription. So much, man. Here we go. So this about section needs to be replaced. Thank you so much, man. That's appreciated. This can be removed. The installation section we can copy and paste in in a second. This VS Code. Um, then we need to mark some things like we do not support. Oh man. We do not support these architectures, right? What the hell's going on? I copied the dot? Really? Okay. Things are going well. I'm a bit excited, as you could probably notice, uh, and I'm a little bit off. But yeah, we're still going to try to do this. I'm pretty, pretty off. Uh, where else? Running, it's not production ready, it's uh, experimental, so the batch is incorrect. Pipelining's running, this is GitLab CI, it's still building. So let's get the readme in here. Uh, here's the readme. Then this is a weird thing in uh, the form. She can actually not 
to enters in markdown it will actually make them real enters so you have to fix that that's done and then the installation part that's in the normal readme it's in here this little piece Here we go. That looks pretty slick, right? Okay, let's see. Did we forget something here? You left the SSH bit in the installation. Oh yeah, well noticed, thank you. Yeah, this seems okay. So I'm going to put this in the staff room for now. So it's still hidden from the public. Uh, nevertheless, um, I can check it, how it looks before actually moving it into the actual place where it should be. So this is just preparation at this point. Documentation is linking to the correct place. This is, seems all correct. This links to the correct place. This is correct. This is correct. So this looks nice. And for the second post, I always post something about me. I'm going to reply. Here we go. So that's finished. Does the readme text explicitly manage mentioned it does not run a pi? It only it's all all no in here. Um, and it's also in the actual documentation. It's written explicitly. But people will and also the um, add-on store will show it it's not installable as well so it's not that you can actually accidentally install it user user please i know you want home bridge but yeah It underlines his errors. How do I fix this? You can enter a piston. You can actually, uh, if, if you type exclamation mark secret and it will uh, give like an error in Visual Studio Code, you can actually enter it as accepted. There's, um, if you look at the YAML extension for Visual Studio Code, you can actually add additional of those things. Uh, and I think it should actually be fixed in the uh, Home Assistant extension, to be honest, but yeah. Must go to sleep, check you out tomorrow. Thank you, Greg. Good night, man. Sleep well. Step one in installation needs removing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Thank you. I did not actually read. I just blindly copy-pasted it. Done. Thank you so much for noticing that. Which YAML extension do you use? YAML. I can tell Frank's excited. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm I'm insanely excited. Let's see how the build goes. It has been deployed. It's now available on Edge. So the build is successful. Uh, we should upgrade this system right here. So let's do an update and make sure it still runs. Come on. It's still busy updating. There it is. It has an upgrade, so let's update to the latest version. So prepare community posting. Check. Frank is speaking at 1.25x. 
At least I thought I had a speed wrong. I'm so sorry, mate. I'm just so excited. Hey, Frank, this is so awesome. Great work. Thank you. You're welcome. The one from Red Hat or Microsoft? Uh, Red Hat is additional. I guess. I must, I'm, I must be honest, I have not added the custom shite because I just ignore the, the curly stuff. Okay. Let's prepare some kind of tweet. Do we, we need to add screenshots. I need to have like a little... Um, let me see. I think I have something, but I need to find myself. Can I watch it myself on Twitter? Yeah, I can. Uh, media. Hold on. Let me scroll a little here. So this is something I tweeted like a long time ago. This was November 2018, where I already asked for an extension. Please, somebody create one. Um, this is where it actually started a little bit. By the way, why are you still using Hastebin? Because I just needed a simple notepad to type something in. Could be anything. Hastebin popped in my head and I just had started typing. Hi, I'm new here. Do you take music requests? MPC? No, I do not. I'm under license, so I'm, um, I am I have a license to play anything from Monster Cat, and I do have a selection of music. So if you are interested in the music I play, you can just type exclamation mark music in the chat, um, and then you will get the playlist. Where it has been? I, I, I don't know where it has been. YAML extension if his code is currently built failing. Should it wait? No, it should probably not be not be sent, by the way. Do you take Monster Cat re songs request? Uh, actually, I'm trying to f f be away from Monster Cat like song request. But if you, if, if you have something that I play so at some time, at some point, please let me know. Finbar, thank you for your add-ons. I'm generally thinking of ditching my Raspberry Pi just so can use this add-on. You should. <laughs> I recently rebuilt my home assistant server and I redid my config using your IDF directories. I love, thank you for the inspiration. You're welcome, Homeless Saucer. I, I, I'm happy to hear you like it. So I'm going to use this little, this little, um, th we can use this right for, for the tweet. That would be nice. Uh, and I should also include some screenshots. So we should make some screenshots. Uh, I can, I'm going to make the screenshot from here as well. Let me see, where is it? I've got Twitter open and ready to retweet. Now we, we need to release as well. We're now doing the preparation phase, right? So we need to do some things like, let's go into my actual instance uh, here. I'm not sure why it's slower on my actual instance compared to like the demo instance we had. Oh. So this is a nice little screenshot, I guess. I hope it's saved it. Where is it? Yes, it is saved. That's the MDI part. And we should also do... Let me fix this, by the way. Since the wife will be killing me. We should also do stuff like this. That's already an original one, right? Yeah, I already have this screenshot, so I can use that one. But this shows... Let's do hasio ha check.
think I made it wrongly. Yeah, now I did it right. So I have two screenshots. We have this little, little thing. I've got Twitter open right. You retweet song request. The tank engine, my Thomas now. It's a lot faster on mine. Yeah, it has been faster today. Are you running on a pie? No, I'm not. You hoo homebridge. No, user user, please stop doing the homebridge stuff. I'm working on things and uh, I know you like it, but it has no use to constantly repeat it. So I would pretty please ask you to just stop shouting it out. I would really appreciate it, that. So. Okay. So we have screenshots to go. Where's my haste bin? Do we need my haste bin? We have this little thing here. Let's save this as well to my desktop since that's where everything went. Okay. We got some screenshots. I love how it uh, shows all the info, so helpful. Yes, that's really helpful. What is this VS Code add-on based on? Shabby, this is based on um, VS Code, of course. I mix up like the base images of Home Assistant uh, and, and, and the community has IO add-ons uh, with Visual Studio and the Code Server by Coder.com. So if you're interested in running it on Docker or manually on your local station, that's possible. Uh, Coder.com actually offers those. Frank custom component development with black code styling. Yeah, that works. Look at this. Lydia's is just doing Python development right here. So that's cool, right? That just works. It just, you can do that. Grambo, day, damn son. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let me mute it a little bit. <laughs> Those were two. <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, scroll drop heart. Okay, okay, now we know it. This is not going to fit. I'm. We're going to fiddle around with it, and the Facebook announcement and the Instagram will be kind of the same. So let's do this. Never gets old. Thank you for following move. Let this here work, man. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. I cannot do cameras to HomeKit. Yeah, that, I know you can, but that's, there's no use to constantly repeat it. I know you've contacted me. You know I've been working on it. Please let me do this and leave it alone for now. It will be done when it's done. And I have tons of things to do. So I'm working on it. I told you I will be looking into it. And if it's successful, I might consider re-releasing -re it.
That's what happens when a developer uses separate thread for audio as they should, but doesn't limit it to one thread and doesn't use QQs. Oh, okay. I can take all this peer pressure, man. <laughs> Jan Wolf, Frank, can I message you later on Discord after I have to ask for improving HA in general? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I'm interested in talking about those things. That's not, not a problem. So this is a little bit of a thing. We're going to attach some hashtags to it. I'm not sure we should do. Let's just go. What I'm going to do, I'm going, I really need to, I, I can you change the colors? Yes, you can do all themes you want. You can use all the freaking themes you want. You want themes? Go to the extension store. I like purple haze, by the way. I like purple haze. which is apparently not available or I crashed something. Okay, never mind. but it is available and you can do it. Have you seen Google's new teams for Chrome? No, I haven't, but I'm not taking a look at this point. I'm a little bit excited. Um, so what I'm going to do right now, you can guess. What, you, what do you think it's time for? I think it's time to actually I think it's time to take a pee, take, pick a beer to celebrate and start releasing the shit. So I will be back in a sec. I'm going to take a piss since I definitely do not want to visit the, the toilet at the point where I'm releasing this thing. So, <laughs> so hold on. I'll be right back and I hope to see you in a second though.
Holy crap. I'm not yeah, I'm 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 not doing the beer right now. Let's hold on. I'm going to hit the release button first. So what's going on in the chat? All kinds of beer ship it. Okay. Transition so epic the epic broke the beer right back screen. Yeah, I, I I don't know why it's got stuck. Nevertheless, uh, you are excited. I am excited because this is just... I like this add-on myself really, really freaking much. So I'm excited as hell. I'm even nervous, to be honest. So let's go to my desktop here. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit stressed. I hope everything goes well and it works as expected and intended and... And people will be happy with it. And that's always excited. Like I have many add-ons which are just like small. This is kind of like a big thing, right? This is a, this is a big thing. Um, where's my haze bin? Where's my haze bin? Here it is. Um, so we have to prepare the stable repository and the ads repository. So let's do that first. Let's start with the release process. So here we go. <sighs> Here we go. Let me up the font a little for you guys so you can watch and see what I do. Uh, this is the ad repository. And as you can see right here, there's a VS Code entry. So this entry we're going to copy since we need that for the beta repository. Since the beta and the stable repository will be able to receive the actual add-on. We're going to do this. Okay. So the beta repository is now ready to receive the actual release. It's not released, so it's now ready to receive it. And let's update this one. This is the stable repo. This is the repo that shows up in all the systems. Here we go. Here we go. So the stable repo is now ready to receive. So that checks off these two. Somebody's calling for my attention. Oh, look, Lydius is ready as well. Lydius is ready as well. Oh, a brew dog. Oh, man, that's 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 good stuff. Brew dog is good stuff, mate. That's absolutely good stuff. You have a stream deck. Oh, yeah, you had one. That's true. I know that already. The docs for the add on release shout about the system requirements just don't want to frank inundate people with moaning their system crashed Palma saucer the add-on checks um the add-on just checks if your architecture is, is is coming up so if you try it on a raspberry pi it will not work it will it will just not install you will not have the install option so that's taken care of so after jupiter lab you will have a new shitstorm probably and i don't care to be honest i don't care if you don't if you're not running hasio and you want to install this that's fine it's available it's available, go ahead, make your day. The thing about add-ons is you can do it in a single click and you have someone, in this case me, that maintains it and keeps it up to date. So, yeah. 
Why is this not on my Pi? Yeah, that probably will be a new chapter, but that's easy. Just complain on Microsoft and make the damn thing lighter. Um, okay, let's go to let's get to some business. Here we go. Create a really new release. First release. Ta-da! Initial add-on release. I'm going to do an extra ta-da here, because I think this deserves at least two ta-da's. Ta-da! Turtles, what are we working on to do... Oh, wise one. Oh. Just looking out for your well-being, Frank. I know. I, and I'm excited. I don't care. I've, we had that shitstorm. I think it's... Um, I think it's not fair. So, yeah. Hurts dark mode, please. <laughs> I'm not switching to dark mode. But, um, yeah. So, are you ready? Are you ready? Shall I click the button? <sighs> please, God. <sighs> Cheers, mates. It's building. Working on it. Thank you for the follow, man. That's appreciated, son. You're now officially a home assistant, homie. Oh, I'm just shaking, you know? I'm just shaking. <sighs> mm. But it's a good one, though. Mm. Small, small, small feet. Yay, damn son! Smoke, smoke weed. Eat every day. We every day. Smoke, smoke weed every day. Smoke, smoke weed every day. Smoke weed every day, damn son. So it's building. It's building the release. And as soon as it hits, like this little thing here, the stable one, if this one turns green, it's available. So you can hit refresh and install it. <laughs> Cheers. Ah. <laughs> Awesome stuff, sir. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. So what we're now going to do, since this thing is building, I have a little bit of time. This will take like five to ten minutes. So in this time, I'm going to open up my Twitter. And let's compose a message right here. So let's compose a message. Tweet. We're going to tweet. What are we going to add? Let's get my his bin here. Uh, something like this. Uh... That's not the Twitter I was looking at, right? Did it close it? No, this one. Here we go. Is it too much? No, it's even... It fits. Okay. In your HA front end, including HA, including the HFES code pre configured out of the box. Now I'm going to add the ta da on here. Party, party! Get a rent of one of the periods at the end. One of the periods at the end out of the box so now i'm heading close uh let me get my screenshots in here uh i have downloaded the where is it i, th I thought i downloaded the, the the little thingy magic i did this one so let's add in this one here we go and this is a nice screenshot 
Here we go. This is a nice screenshot. I don't know. Does this look decent? Yeah, you like it? Okay. Yeah, it looks nice. Okay. So this is going to be it. It's publishing! It's publishing! Oh, I need to open Facebook. I'm going to paste the same freaking message. Write a post. Uh, where's my Twitter? And let's add the, the images. Can I just drag them in? Yeah, I can. <sighs> it's published. It's available. It's available. Oh, I, I, I made one big, big, big error. I made one big error. I made one big error. I got it in time. I should give it a link. <laughs> I should add the link. Holy shit, how stupid am I? So that would make it too long. With five characters, so we're going to remove this one, so here we go. That fits. There we go. One, two, three. Tweet. I cannot post it on Instagram since it has multiple photos. Okay. Well, then I guess I can't. Okay. Let's share this with, uh, in a group. Let's share this with the guys at, um, at Dr. Z's. Post. Okay. Post a link.
Here we go. Let's post it in here as well. So. There we go. This is insane. Am I forgetting something? I should get it on, I don't know, somewhere else. Holy shit. You should really suppress all these breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> I missed a couple of things in the chat. I'm so sorry. I've been so I'm going to play a song I really like since I'm I'm so happy about this, but um since I do not like the cloud and I think come down to our cloud, we're going to do the Hey freaking thing. Ah, I'm going to play it a little louder. I'm so happy about this. Let me see what's going on in the chat. <sighs> Thank you for the follow, Mr. Clarifitz. I missed it. Sorry, it looks perfect. Installed. Good catch. What's the difference between VS Code and IDE? It's... I don't know where to start, mister. I really don't know where to start. It's so much different. You can do multiple photos on Instagram. Okay. Yeah, but probably not from here. Um... And now publish a list of useful extensions. Oh. What language is the project coded in? A uh, mixture. Mainly bash. Like the add-ons are mainly bash. You sound exhausted. No, it's not exhausted. It's relieved, I guess. Idea on storage. That's probably the best description. Hmm. VS Code is not add-on is not available for your system. Raspberry Pi. That's correct, Casio. It's not available for the Raspberry Pi. Announcement on Discord would also be nice. Okay. I'm sh yeah, absolutely. I forgot about that piece. Celebrate good times, come on. <laughs> really? Uh, the pipeline has been done. Bye bye. Oh, I did not release the community stuff. Uh, edit. Has.io add on. So it's on there now as well. That one needs uh, needs some loving and likes. Since it's all, it's it's gone. <laughs> it's off the list. Uh, oh, those go. What, what the hell? Where did it go? Here we go. That's a community topic. Move HA post. Yeah, I did it. Shoot the lock, shoot the password. I do not agree on showing it, but it does it. That's um, something I'm not responsible for, but I'm, I am contact the guys. I've sent them a message about that thing. Jdad. Hey, all. Hey, Jdad. You missed it, man. You missed the party. You're just late for the party. You're late for the party. Oh my god, is that link real? Yes, that link is real. That link is real. Gotta have to go early start tomorrow. Excited and on release and I agree with thank you. Well welcome Mark. You're welcome. What I have missed then? You've missed um let me show you my main production system. Hello. You know what this is? <laughs> This is running in the browser, JDAT. It's running in the freaking browser. It's just part, it's right here. It's just, just like the ID add-on, it's right here. 
That's damn sexy. It damn sexy is. It is damn sexy. So that's basically it. Like, in a short version of it. The really short version on it of it. So, yeah. I only, the only thing I didn't do is Instagram. So, But I, I should be able to do that on my mobile, I guess. So if I go in here... Um, I did not do the announcement on... Let me see what else. Uh, where's my announcements? Here it is. Arrow up, visual studio code V1. Let's get this link in here. <sighs> Install and smile. Is this in the main repo or just ads? It's in the main now. It's stable. Full extensions. Yes, it has full extensions, JDAD. If you like Gitlands, like I do, here we go. Future thought, enable Docker support when protected mode is turned off. Makes it easy to develop and remotely. Yeah, I thought about it. I thought about it. Hey, hon. The ninja is home. Hmm? I'm streaming. I'm streaming, hon. Because it's party hardy. Yeah, she doesn't know. She doesn't care, probably. Ninja missed the party, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've released something big. I think it's big. I, I'm happy with it. So you have a bow tie. I have a bow tie. Which for the occasion today, yes. And, and wear the stupid hat. Yes. <laughs> no, it is big, says Robert. Yeah. And Jada says, holy shit, man, you're a god. No, I'm just Frank. But thank you, nevertheless. Can it code for me, Ian? Yes. <laughs> What the hell is that for a question? Which is Max? Uh, well, that program thing I always use to type code in. Yeah, yeah, it's now just available right inside Home Assistant. So you do not need a separate computer. You just can go to your Home Assistant and code away. You, you still have to code, yes. Except if your name is Ian, Ian here. Ian, Ian, for Ian, it, it's all automated. <sighs> the most appropriate time ever for a confetti bun. No, 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 not no confetti. There is still confetti here, by the way. I, I grabbed my this this little hat, and there's still confetti in here. So no, we still. It's like many weeks later, and we still find confetti everywhere. No, please stop smiling. Stop smiling. <laughs> no. <sighs> I cannot believe you read it out loud. No, I cannot believe. She doesn't care. It is. It's Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, and wie heeft ze moeten werken? You had to work, yeah. And have you Grey's Anatomy kunnen kijken? No, you didn't watch Grey's Anatomy. You can still watch it now. You can like review it again. Yeah, heb je rust Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Rip Frank. Ah. Yes. Yes. Hi, Han. Hi. Installed it and it's beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Mister. I can't believe you read it out loud. There's confetti. In. Yeah, there's confetti everywhere. Ah, oh, Frank, it's confetti time. Can't be worse than confetti. Could... Nee, no, nee, I'm not reading confetti. that piece out. Uh, tomorrow come. No, the clean the cleaning lady would not be happy. Nope. How come when I type a port number in a config section, it changes itself back? Um, because you did not update yet. 
get at. You have to run 90.1. You're probably on 90.0, which has an issue with it. Which has an issue with that piece. So yeah, 30 years of programs, you write code in... Prom? Prom? P P RAM. P P. Not sure. Should it be in a community add-on store yet? Not showing in mine. Uh, go to the add-on store in the top right. There is a reload button. So if you go into the add-on store right here, there's a little button here. If you click it, and you wait like a couple of seconds, and it should be there. And I have not seen it yet. So let's see. Oh, it's for me. It's already popped up. By the way, so it's here. Baby carriage. Not sure what you're talking Man about. Us. What? Why you want this? Because you can just go in and change the configuration instead of connecting to the machine and get the files and open up a program and change them and then you can go directly in and do your thing. That's just really helpful. I can just click here and change whatever I want on the system instantly. And it even helps since it actually connects to... Oh, that's any kleurtjes what you have gedaan. Yes, and it actually connects to Home Assistant. So if I start typing, it will actually... Break something. Break something. Probably. Since it's loading something. Uh, you have not need... It's the first loading. It's always... You have not need the test factor. It... So if you there now what in typed, then it changes the tracks and then you have it on the stuck. Yeah, but that's always the same. Okay, I'm going to explain it later. Took a couple of dozen refreshes for it, so she doesn't g care. Give up, mate. Yeah, she doesn't. <laughs> as long as Google Home works, right? Yeah. See, yeah. Use Hasselai CLI to start Grace Anatomy on a TV with an add-on for her, Frank. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. That's oh, that's sweet. Stoli, quit being so snippy to. The better half half solely you are in here mate i've been missing you i'm going to show you something different but yeah no nothing solely is in here I, I i wanted i was hoping solely would show up what's that i i should i i, I must be nice to you i love you okay yeah you you you, you <laughs> are getting indeed <laughs> So why at Soldi Automation? Well, I haven't seen Soldi in a while. Uh, at least I cannot remember it. But Soldi, I have something for you. In store. I'm going to wait now till Soldi responds. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> yeah, I actually rewrote a large part of it solely, and there's one thing I want to rewrite, but still, it's it's on the edge. Uh, but it works. It works really well. I've and it shows a lot of things as well now. Uh, there's no password in here. No, this is not installed. Let me install it. But have you seen Soli what I actually released today? Can she do some coding? No, she can't. Soli, have you seen I'm not sure when you tuned in. Have you seen the thing I've released today? You have code? Yeah. Of it work. Oh you you pro oh you did some CSS and HTML, that's true. Yeah, that our Microsoft. That's true, in, in Microsoft that SharePoint. Yeah, you're, nee, so that, nee, you're so lucky. You're so lucky. En dat werkt ze niet, dus ik heb die rare tekentjes wat jij hebt gebruikt, heb ik ook gebruikt en dan kon ik dingetjes veranderen en zo. Dat was best cool, kun je een plaatje invoegen. Je scare me nou. <laughs> Front page. <laughs> She have point does not count. There you go. Ik heb het weer afgebroken en dan weet ik niet meer hoe het terugkomt. Yeah, you broke it, right? Yeah, my, that is okay. Microsoft and Microsoft. So, so let me let me let me get a little bit. I'm going to continue this later in a little bit, honey. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you you I know you're you're the greatest coder ever. No, you, you don't get it. I know, but still, you can code, honey. I know you can. Hold on, I'm going to get something I need here. So this is zero tier. Uh, zero tier is uh, like a VPN solution, uh, kind of thing. 
I can let me put this one in. Let me save it. Let's start it. And the things I've improved is it's running on the new Bash IO, and it also shows now it it handles it handles the the identity separately. So it shows the uh, ID, and that's it. It works solely. Yeah, see you, SharePoint. SharePoint. <laughs> Getting chewed out in Dutch is so much funnier. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell she's serious. You can tell because the accent is thick. Yeah, it is. There's a couple of simple existing Docker containers from Docker Hub. I used on my own server a lot. How simple would it be to turn them into an add-on? Um, some you can actually turn an add-on pretty easy into uh, like an doc existing Docker container into an add-on pretty easy. But it all, in my opinion, it's important to have a nice and tight integration, which makes sense. Like make it configurable, uh, make sure there's documentation, make sure it shows up in the add-on store probably, make sure it connects over, I don't know, Home Assistant if if that applies to the add-on. So yeah. I'll take it. Yes, weird, weird characters. We still love you, Ninja. Oh, that's sweet. Maybe she's just some blind tax fan. Maybe. Deuce leaf. <laughs> Ninja, I love CSS, so you have my respect. <laughs> Aww. People are sweet for you. So, but this is uh, zero tier. This is on Edge as well. If you like to play with those kinds of things, go ahead, make my day, play with it. I'm going to check Twitter. I just in uninstalled desktop installation in favor of this. Frank does it again. Yeah, that goes my weekend. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. So smoke, smoke weed. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Smoke, smoke weed. <laughs> you should have seen her face right now. She doesn't like Thomas. Every <laughs> day. Smoke, smoke weed every day. What? Okay, I'm going to continue streaming. We're talking so much. It's not fun for them. Okay, I'm going to take a little break, say hi. <laughs> and um and then I will I don't know. <laughs> Parse error. That's not good, mate. That error is weird though, but it still works, right? Okay, do I have that error? Where do you guys see that error? Uh, this is zero tier, by the way. This is not coming from Visual Studio Code. It still works. This is coming from Bass.io, which is the library running this all. That's a pretty new library as well. So yeah, this is an issue. I'm not sure why. I will check this out later, but this is not an issue. Robert, that should not be... Let me see... Yeah, that error is known. It's a known error by uh, code share and does not ha does not cause problems at least. So yeah, you can ignore that safely. Did you turn HA in the config, Jason? Did you turn on HA in the config, Jason? No. Which config, Jason? Timo. Hey Frank, did you have problems with VS Code add-on for the Home Assistant plugin where you did not play along with access token? Uh, Soldi, this um, this add-on does not use the long lift access tokens. This add-on actually makes use of the uh, HasIO supervisor bridge to connect to Home Assistant directly. So there's no need for uh, making settings or doing things like um, 
like long list actions tokens and stuff just go ahead and you put it in and that works <sighs> there we go so I was ready doing <laughs> yeah I'm I'm really happy about this I'm I'm just toked the fee is code add on that grabs the IDs Yeah, that's that's in here, Soldy. It's already it's in here. It's uh, where is it? Where's my production system? Did I close it? My that's stupid. No, it's here. It's loading. That's the first time. Here we go. It's just working. So that's in here solely it's pre-configured as well it just works out of the box it's it's there i'm going to take a little break and then we'll see if we can still do something or maybe my night is over i don't know oh wait i missed something you added html vs code add on oh you did miss this piece you can just click into your front end and run visual studio code including like every thinking thing and it's pre-configured with home assistant and connected and you just go to the add-on store and hit install and I don't know. You missed this little piece? <laughs> Salty missed the party today. It was really party. Ninja distracted you before you told me about that. Lol. Well, this is Visual Studio Code for a WAP. It runs in the add-on and you can just go in and run your configuration. And this is my production system. And it has a console with all the tools, including has CLI and it has IO stuff. Look at this, my entity list. It all just works out of the freaking box. Mate Joe, that, that error can be ignored. That's not an issue. It is an issue, but it does not crash anything. It's known. Code server is working on that. Code server is unable to watch file change live works. Please follow the instructions on the link to resolve this issue. Yes, it's documented in the documentation of the add-on. Take a look at it and the known issues and limitations. I thought those were not ready for prime time yet. It, it is. It, it, I, I marked it experimental. It's fee 0 0.1.0. I do expect issues like as you can see above in the chat or in the chat there, wherever the chat for you is, there are some like uh, sp specifically in the um, in the logs, there are some errors, but it is not blocking. It's it works perfectly fine. I've been using it a couple of days now. It's it just works. It just works. Is that Azure prod? It's on production. It's released solely. It's out in the public. How did you get the VSC icon in the menu? That's uh, written in the documentation as well. If you go to the, um, the VS Code documentation, you find all the options in here. And here's the little snippet. Embedding it into a Home Assistant, just make this panel iframe, add it to your configuration, and it will all embed that way. Did you add your VS Code extensions to hide secrets file yet? No, I'm not adding extensions. It's just adding Home Assistant. Uh, the home assistant extension and it adds the extension for the mdi icons and that's it you can install any extension you like yourself it's persistent across reboots as well uh, including your settings your custom settings so that will be saved in a safe place but it ships with uh, the pre-configured ha extension and mdi extension so that's something everybody would use right that's something everybody should use uh, all the other stuff is just like, I don't know, personal preference. Some people like the specific icon set or theme or I don't know. You can you can just install those things. You're so excited I can focus on my work. Sorry, you missed the icon part. Okay. Yes, but I thought you were working on a section to hide the secrets file on the VS Code extension. I have it, actually, um, and it's running here. I can. It's not installed on that system, though, but I can uh, hide hide Git Ignored, uh, which is actually checking my Git Ignore file, uh, which contains stuff I do not want to have on GitHub. Um, and that, that also is read into 
Fisher Studio Code to hide things I do not want to show on stream. But in this case, yeah, I'm I'm not coding with my files. Uh, I know it's not safe, but yeah, I'm I'm just showing this piece and this is okay. So yeah, whatever. A VS Code extension. Read the fucking manual. <laughs> That's okay, mate. It's okay. That's okay. I'm going to take a little break. I'll be right back. I need to I need to chill down. I need to chill down. I'm so hyped. I cannot. Well, I'm feel like I'm black hole at this point. I, I'm not sure. Be right back, mates.
So I'm cooled down a bit now. Hello, how are you doing? Awesome work, Frank. You've been busy. Well, thank you, Soldy. You deserve a break for sure. I did. Is it meant to show on the HA store? Yes, you have to hit refresh in the add-on store to see it right now. Uh, thanks for the follow, Ceiling Waffle. That's appreciated. I've refreshed and re even rebooted my VM. That's not refreshing the add-on store, but yeah. Really cool. I like the VS Code add-on. I'm also excited about ZSH. Nice, mate. I like it a lot. I re-added the repository and showed up. Okay. Glad it's resolved. Solofly. What was the ThinkFab model mentioned? X2230. Yes, that's it. Solofly. If you, let's see. How do you follow this? Pretty much anything else you're doing today is going to be a letdown in comparison. I guess so. And that's why I'm not going to make it a long stream. I think I'm going to, to end it really soon since... <sighs> Yeah. Hmm. The X230 is a um, is a, a thing Lenovo ThinkPad, and it was suggested by Ian to run um, to run Hasio or Home Assistant on, since it's actually it has a touchscreen and which can rotate. No, it's not a ThinkPad. It's a Len yeah, it's Lenovo. Is that better? screen could be rotated if i'm not mistaken yeah this one where is it i saw one here it is and you can get them with an i5 in it and you could probably use it as a as a display with touch screen as well for uh things like i don't know your love lace or something it's a think pad <sighs> okay it's a think pad here we go. So that might be a cool, cool device to use, actually. That's uh, that's nice. Hmm. That's really nice. I'm going to check my socials. Holy shit! Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's nice to read. Oh, this is all exploding. I think Reddit will be chilled out. Yeah, Reddit is chilled. That's expected, though. <coughs> I should do, still do the um, the Instagram thing. Let me do the Instagram thing. That's the only thing we didn't check off yet. Let me do the Instagram thing. How is this going to work? Uh, save it. Save photo. I have no clue how else I should do this. Save photo. Sorry for being on my mobile right now, but I just want to get this on Instagram as well. So let's go to Instagram. Plus, oh, it needs the photo first. Library. Next. Can I do multiple? Apparently, I can't. I thought it could. Oh, I'm going to post this one. Paste it. Fix the tags here. That's broken. Assistant, what should I tag? 
Home Assistant, uh, Internet of Things, because, of course, Instagram is all about tagging, right? It's all about tagging. Hello, Soul Animation. How do you do, mate? Uh, how's I -O. What else? Give me some tag suggestions here, mates. Help me out here. Has I O in another thing? VS Code, Home Assistant, uh, Home Automation. Yeah, I'll leave it at this. This is okay. Choo choo, hashtag choo choo, that is going to be a thing. Hashtag choo choo. It's actually a existing hashtag. Really? And hashtag homies, here we go. Okay. Tag people. No. Here we go. Tumblr? Is Tumblr still a thing? It asked me to share on Tumblr? So that should be on Instagram now. It's almost the same screenshot as before, but yeah. Here we go. That's the Instagram post. Mm -mm -mm. That's the Instagram post. Holy shit. Tumblr, no. Not since they banned porn. Oh, did it? Was it? Was it? I've never been on Tumblr, though. And let me do the shameless self promotion as well. Let me do the shameless self promotion on the side of um, here we go. All the things that are happening right now, that's insane. Okay. I, I'm out of things to do. Everything I do right now does not make sense. And, um... Chef, love the VS Code add-on. Is it possible to add more folders to it? Chef, can you explain what? I think I think of the file watching thing by adding a more aggressive pattern to the file exclude thing. Yeah, that's that's an option as well. There's already a pattern in, which is pretty basic, but if you have a large system, it will trigger. It is a known issue, uh, though. Uh, they are working on a fix to, well, be less aggressive out of the box. Uh, so that will be shipped in an update. Please note, this add-on is still experimental. It's the first release, so yeah. I gotta say, I'm doing some lovely editing, and uh, damn, this add-on is so much nicer than what I'm used to. Here we go. I'm happy you love it. I'm happy you love it. So yeah. Oh man. Show show is going crazy. I am... Um... This is all done. How's the community going? Community is probably quiet. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it has 10, li 10 likes already. That's pretty big. I love this. I love to see this. I'm so happy you guys like it. Um, thank you for all the support. You guys are my number number one here. Thank you for tuning in as well. I think I'm going to end the stream. I'm um, I'm kind of tired uh, for this, and I'm I'm kind of like this is the the dark part, right? I was pretty pumped up and excited, and it's now out, and I want to enjoy um, the things that's going on on the net, what people say, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, 
and I'm going to quit on this this peak time. The longer I will stream, the lower it is going to get. And yeah, this is it. This is the, the, the best thing I could do for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the add-on. That's for sure. That's for sure. I hope you enjoyed the add-on. Oh, and I had a giveaway running. Let's finish the giveaway. Holy shit, I almost yeah, forgot. Giveaway. giveaway. So if you haven't entered yet, in, enter yet, just type exclamation mark ticket to enter. Let's do the giveaway. For the stickers. stickers. Yay, stickers. <laughs> Ninja supported. Goodbye, Cloud9. It has been nice. Stickers, stickers, stickers. <laughs> Unicorns. Bunch of Unicorns. One but thank you for all you do for the community. You're welcome, sir. I I, I love doing what I do. <sighs> you look put it on and show yourself. No no no, no, no. <laughs> She was wearing the glasses. Okay. So the tickets do not work from YouTube. If you want to hop on, go to Twitch, twitch.tv slash Frank, and then you type it. No, they're not here, but oh. yeah. Those. Soli, what most provides you most directly back? Patreon, for sure. Patreon, if, you're, if you want to support me on Patreon, that's really appreciated. All the other things you do is also appreciated, but you don't have to. So, uh, but but if you ha if you if you want to choose between the things you can contribute, um, yeah, I I would prefer Patreon above all since it's just they they are not greedy, to be honest. <laughs> that looks amazing, huh? <laughs> She's now wearing the KOT hat and the glasses. <laughs> yeah, it's cut in Dutch, but yeah, it's KOT hat. <laughs> So last uh, last last shot to enter. Type exclamation mark ticket if you haven't done already, and then we're going to roll it. And now I need my In ten, nine. Eight. You, do you want to do it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can click on draw a winner, and then stuff will happen. Uh, it's not exciting. Oh, you already did. No. Me. Hmm? Wait, oh. what happened? I don't know. There's no. There's no. Oh, well, first we have to listen to. Uh, Side. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Two people play it. That's a fail. That's a fail. It's now a mess. It's a mess. I hear so much of that kind of twice. <laughs> okay, I'm going to. Uh, okay, now drink it. I'm going to silence it. I'm going to play the uh, animation for you guys. This is just weird. Okay, let's go. I hope the sound is off for you, though. Yeah, it's off. Yeah, yeah, you go. One, two, three. Lydia's <laughs> Ricked. <laughs> okay, you tell me, man. <laughs> oh, she is saying, Lydia's, you are not getting them. <laughs> okay, I'm doing nothing. Oh, and one Brad, here we Yay. go. Congratulations. Unicorn one bad Brad. Unicorn sticker. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Contact me on Discord. Send me your address, and then we're going to fix it. I cannot close the giveaway. Oh, mark is complete. Yeah. Here we go. I think that Ludius iets heeft geschreven, waardoor hij elke keer. Now, Ludius, Ludius is always breaking my stuff. Where's the programming? Uh, it's already... I, I've, I've done it. Today is a release party of the programming resolve there, Jensa. And I'm uh, I'm actually uh, going to, to done. Lydia is for real? Yes, Lydia is for real. Ask the Ninja where my pony stickers that she promised me, Robert. Yeah, you promised Robert pony stickers. Oh, I will buy. Uh, you're getting get pony stickers on here. Okay. Have you an address? I think so. But we'll arrange that. Uh, let me hide this piece. So let let's do another last one. Let's let's here we go. Oh, and then we we'll try it again, but this time we do with sound. They dance on smoke, smoke weed. We every day. Smoke weed every day. 
Smoke, smoke weed every day. Smoke, smoke weed every day. Smoke, smoke weed every day. Smoke weed every day. Damn son. I'm going to say choo choo, homies. Hope to catch you next time. Later. Oh, that's the wrong button. Later.